Yeah, cracking matchup this one. The start of the day, as we see the eight ball already in motion. At the start of the day, looking at the draw, I thought this might be the first round match of the day. World champion versus former European champion and international teammate in Dylan Leary. Straight up the middle of the eight ball there. It's a bit of an odd one. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a cracker of a match, this one. The winner of this will play the buzzer, Brian Halcro, to make it through to play you in a couple of days' time. Yeah, I called Shane when I was when I was pressed by Stephen <laughs> there as the winner. So sorry, Shane, if I put the curses well, on you. But I'm not going to ask you for this one. But <laughs> I'm wrong anyway. This is why I don't gamble. <laughs> Good at getting it wrong, but anything can happen in sport. And Buzzer deserved his win. That's it. You've got to be ready to take the chances. The so. only lucky qualifier, wasn't he? he um, he's the only person to get a buy in the in the qualifier. So opponent couldn't make it in the end but all 31 of the others had to had to win a match to be here at least one match to be fair some people had to win two I've seen the rest and the spider out today it's a good shot see there he had to play it on that side so he's got an angle to split this other yellow and red out uh, very easy to let the yellow run to the bottom cushion there and it wouldn't have been good so he's perfect here to Probably just play a controlled cannon. He'll be trying to play on the yellow to the right middle. Something around full ball off the cushion. So I caught it a little bit. He just caught it from the underside, didn't he? But it still goes to the top right. Might have to take it straight away. I think this is nice, actually. We can just screw back past the red. Just screw the ball back, you know. So you can see the one to the top left corner that's on this left cushion. Then that will naturally drift him across. The eight ball still only probably goes in the right middle. So needs some close cue ball control here to get these. But they do all go. Obviously, if he can top through, it's ideal now. I'm not sure how straight he is, but he could top through, leave himself somewhere near those two reds at the top. Now he can, this is an, a better pattern. He can now, he's got to play this quite a bit left-hand side, but anywhere between the black and red, if you like, and the left centre pocket, somewhere around there, fairly straight on this next yellow then. He'll have the eight ball in the right centre, or the bottom centre as we look from the overhead. It's always going to be hard to get there on a new cloth that way. Now he's in trouble. Yeah, it's not terrible if the eight ball goes left centre, because at least he can play natural cue ball. But it's still a tough enough pot. It might, he might have a drop it in off the jaw, but he's not going to be straight behind it to play that shot. He's going to have to just drift. I can't see him going twice across here. It's going to be a tough shot if he has to. He thinks the. Uh, oh, he's not got that, has he? Thinks the eight ball goes. Ah, first chance comes and goes for Dylan. Tough cue in there. You really can't see any of the white ball. He topped through for the one which you sort of agreed with. Three out once he'd played the developing shot. I just wonder if he could have played the just pulled the cue ball back two or three inches and then you've got the natural to come across the for the final ball. It might have made he, life easier. I think it was just because of the eight ball he decided that. And, and obviously, I don't know why he didn't play the, the next shot with left-hand side rather than he tried to go right-hand side of two cushions and it was always going to be tough. But it's, it's slippy out there and sometimes you, you feel like you can't get the, the left-hand side on. But I, th I think he would have been fine. Yeah, you're worried about getting, you know, comes up down the middle of the table and you don't... You end up look, looking a little bit foolish. Kind of what happened in the end anyway, though, really. It's yeah, true. Has handed a, a very nice table to Rona McCarthy to get his cue arm going yeah, this early is in this want. match. It's the first visit, isn't it, really? Yeah, your exactly. Your opponent's done all the, all the clearing up for you and just left you your balls in the open, so... It's one of those things that, that can happen. It was never an easy finish for Dylan. He had to develop a ball player plant, you know, it's... One of those where you're not expecting to get it every single time, so I don't think you'll be too upset with it. Well, oh my goodness close. me, that is in. No. Ooh. Very, very fortunate to keep the cue ball on the table there. Maybe some early nerves on both sides of the arena here. What's he going to do here? He's landed on a bit of an unnatural angle now. He, does, he 
the natural pocket for the eight ball from here is top left, but obviously the yellow's in the way, so just looking at what sort of angle he can leave himself top right for the eight ball if he tops through off this red. It's not going to be dead straight behind it, so. Yeah, and also if you are feeling it a little bit and that last shot showed it early in this match, not settled, that won't be a comfortable eight ball. Mm. And it won't be a comfortable eight ball. I'm backing for this though, Ronan. He's very good at this type of shot. In it goes, yeah. heart of the pocket. Right in the heart of the pocket. World champion gets first frame on the board, punishes the error from Dylan Leary. I remember at one of the seniors' events, he, he won it. He beat Keith Brewer in the final, I think, on a six-red shootout. And uh, he said, yeah, you know, I'm all right here, but on the pro tour, everyone's just machines. So <laughs> well, I think that was it, wasn't it? I mean, that, that's the, the tournament that got him going. The, the tournament that, and, and he said that in his interviews. I, I was out there interviewing him, he said, yeah, it's nice not to play machines every round. <laughs> you can get away with a little bit more. Not that the standard wasn't amazing; it really was. But and that just shows you what confidence can do. Build build on the confidence of winning one tournament, take it into the next, and go from there. That's a good shot from Dylan. They're not as easy as they look. Tight on the cushion. The pockets don't play huge from that angle, so he's in here. Can try and. Uh, get himself settled down you never really settled until you get your first frame on the board it's just kind of still with how tricky that pot was he's he's got to just get the cue ball under control any of these he's a little bit thin on everything but that was all he could do so just deciding the best route to, to control the cue I think this is the best way come down for these two and then he can deal with the last three tables got a nice comfortable pocket in the bottom right so he'll probably be playing to try and land up towards that red in the top right of the three in two shots time if you like so screw back here and then track up towards the middle of the table his hand is a bit awkward there I think he wanted a bit more I think he can just force it kind of up the racking line if you like so hit the bottom cushion and, and straight up that line it's just how accessible that ball in the middle of the table is. He'd like it to go to the right centre. And if it does, then it's fairly simple if he's got to get on it to another pocket. I mean, that looks tight from the overhead, so... Yeah, half a pocket, maybe. Um, if he can land low, if you like, he played the, both the last two balls in the top left is another option, but I don't think, judging by where he's hitting the cue ball, he's not playing it that way. He's tried to land on it to the left centre there, hasn't he? So yeah, you can see there from that camera angle, it doesn't go. Well, it would it would drop in off the far jaw, but it's not something you want to be leaving yourself unless you're right behind it, dead weight. So I so I would have probably left myself nearer the top cushion there, and he could easily drift, pot pot the red thin on and off the left hand side cushion between the gap of the yellow and red. But obviously he's gone a different way now, and he's going to be awkward now. Is he just about straight enough that you can just top this on and off the cushion and land roughly where the land the cable roughly where the red is now? He yeah, might be say, just okay. Hard to say without being right behind it. I don't think the yellow's gonna yeah, come I think into he play. Can. He can just pot this on and off the cushion. I don't think he can hold it without the cushion, but it's fairly natural. Doesn't need to put any anything other than top spin on this, so being on the cushion doesn't matter too much. I see it was close, but it's played a good shot there. The yellow is slightly in the way of his bridge hands. He's going to have to have a longer bridge here. You see, he's uh, probably going to have to go long. He thought about trying to put his hand closer, but I don't think that was any good. And he's fine. Both players now have got a frame on the board. That should settle Dylan Leary down. Lovely reverse clearance. He has worked on his break as well. Both both breaks were another weakness there. So I think he, he has been putting a lot of effort in. From what I see, there's a lot of improvements I see in Dylan's game. And it was already very good, like you say, winning European Championships and things. But he's kind of realised with his results maybe over the first couple of seasons that he had to improve, if you like. I think he had a, he had a coach for his break at one point. I know he does a bit of coaching himself. But it, you can see big improvements in his game from what was already, as I say, a very good level. So testament to him to yeah I like to see the players that want to go away and, and work on their game look at areas they can improve it doesn't matter how good you are it, you can always get better break hasn't really opened but 
It's a decent enough here. chance. Any cannon on the red full ball or to the left of it? Yeah, he made sure. I think that has done enough, has it? Oh, he's had a good look at it. He didn't want to catch the right-hand side of that red, so that's why he's, he's gone that route. If he caught the right-hand side, he could have could have easily left the white trapped. So we'll know from this shot because he's got the angle to screw directly back into everything. So if he doesn't play that, then I'll we'll assume everything goes. I think he is screwing back into them. That is okay. Could have been kinder. Yeah, just okay. Next shot is going to be a tricky one. But if he can pop the. Well, he's having a look up the table. I think he has to. I don't can't see it. See that. Yeah. If he could put right enough right hand side on this, he could kind of play it off the cushion and track towards that red towards the left middle. But I don't. I don't know if he can get on that. And if not, it's awkward to get back to this yellow. Let's play another cannon for that reason, and that's worked out lovely. I think that's absolutely plum. Just drift this on and off the cushion, or we can, or we can take the yellow to the top left now. Either tr either way, I'm sure that red goes to the middle. The yellow, sorry, the yellow goes to the left centre. Just going to play the one long first. Personally, I think I'll just drop this one in the left middle now. It's natural position, yeah. That's it. Just drop it on off the cushion, dead weight. Good response, this, to not getting out in the opening frame. Yep. It's been a, been a tidy finish. Yeah, reverse clearance, break clearance. Decent hit from Ronan. This time he gets a bunch to fly in. Three balls. And a very good opportunity. He's caught them well. Yeah, always a story. Ronin's break. He's <laughs> never going to compete with the top guys, but can he give himself a, enough chances? One yellow to move here. And there's a couple of awkward yellows, to be fair. It's, it's, it looked a great chance initially, but... That is not the ideal cannon. You see that that yellow needed to move. Also, the yellow in the top half of the table was a bit tricky to land on. It's just going to play safe. Typical Ronan. Always plays the right shots for me. He's a very, very clever player. Yeah, temperament and shot selection is always incredible and impeccable from Ronan McCarthy. Very hard to see what Dylan can really do here. Maybe leave leave the cue ball where it is, you know, off play off this red in the bottom left, but that doesn't really help him much. He can't really go up the table either, so Ronan kind of typical Ronan this, he just doesn't leave you much. So Dylan's tied another tied the other yellow up a bit more. Good shot. Said so go on then. If you fancy them. I don't think Ronan will entertain it. I think Ronan will keep playing safe. Do you think there was a part of Dylan there is, is trying to get the cue ball across to the bottom cushion as well or was, do you think he's always wanted to sort of almost dangle that character on and say come on then these yellows at the bottom are wide open for you now but that yellow at the top's not good. Yeah I don't think he wanted to leave Ronan an obvious part I think he wanted to probably hit the underside of that yellow to leave to leave less of an opportunity but say so Ronan would probably pop these out there's still one safe red and, and a red on the cushion so he's looking at I think developing the yellow and leaving it safe but Change his mind again. As I say, he's not. It's just, just he did it. <laughs> did it a different way. He was looking at playing the other one off the top cushion to play that shot, but in the end, he's found one off a, off a side cushion. He'll be disappointed. It hasn't quite come out as much as he wanted. It stayed in there though. He still left nothing though. Really, I mean, Dylan could play the loss of turn, but it's hard to hide the cue ball. It's quite a thin shot. He sort of by loss of turn. I mean, put this red onto the yellow in the bottom right corner. Get the yellow off the table. More balls tends to be an advantage. But if he can get the red out, then he's the one that's got the sort of yeah, the advantage better, of the colour set. He can get the red out, but he can't. He can't do what Ronan's done and leave leave Ronan nothing to go at. You know, it's very hard to hide the cue ball here. Ronan's got balls near pocket, so he has played the loss of turn, and he's left Ronan the perfect angle here to get his difficult yellow out first shot. So it's all about how this comes out. If he can, he has to kind of land on it. Realistically, we probably play this quite hard. I think I think you've got more equity in the shot if you play it hard. There's no point trying to control it. 
I'm amazed he's not playing at this shot. He's decided he's, he's going to play the double. Dylan has opened up the double by cannoning the red out of the way in the last shot. So I'm amazed he's not played the developing shot here. But he obviously fancies landing good on this double. Well, I think he wanted to go further. So now he will play the developing shot. Well, really? either or. He, you see, he wanted to land straight on the double then. He plays a developing shot yeah, now. He's, just playing he's trying double. to avoid it, yeah. Playing the box of right spin, as you can see. And he's this time he has landed nicely good. on it. And I guess this is where Ronan is. So I think I would have definitely been going into the yellow there. And you're relying on a bit of luck, whereas he's not relying on luck, if you like. He's This is um, a controlled way to take the finish out, so. Yeah. Would like to have been a bit better on the eight ball in an ideal world, but he'll fancy knocking this in. Yeah, very good visit to the table. Good break. Yeah, beat, beat well, Chris Day in the final of the World Championships. That was a very solid performance from both of them, to be fair. It was a very high quality match. Yeah, it was a fascinating match. Lots of twists and drama. You'll see Chris Day later on in the week. Another tricky split to know what to do. Yeah, at first glance it looks like it comes out well, but the two balls together are awkward. Well, he's firing into the red and yellow now. To free is only tied up yellow. That hasn't quite worked out. Could have just done with that red dropping, and then it would have all been on for him. Could play a double loss to turn here. Pop, pop, <laughs> plant the yellow onto the red to the bottom left corner, and pop the cue ball into the other red, and then leave Ronan and snook it. He's not going to play that, but you know it is on. Might just play a direct loss of turn here, just clip off this yellow, try and... You want the white to go right, if you like, from here. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't think he's left a lot. Feels like the previous frame in reverse. Dylan Leary's turn to try and develop it first shot, can't, and now he tries to control the tactical exchange. We're going to Trebleville here. It's quite a nice treble. He was looking at the double there, but I don't think the double's particularly on. If it is, yeah, there we go. Now he's looking at the treble. Pretty natural, this. And he knows he'll be on a red to the top right corner if it goes in, so he's not really got a lot else to go at. He can't really play safe, so here we go. Left middle, keep your eyes on it. Oh, he's changed his mind. <laughs> he did try and find a safety. He's left the one to bottom right, bottom left as we look above, so... Good opportunity yeah. for Dylan. It wasn't far away though, was it? If it pulls up a couple of inches short, then he's got some cover. It wouldn't have been complete, but... He anyway. always finds a way, Ronan. It's quite good to commentate on him, actually. So it's definitely, definitely some shots you can learn off of him. How he sees the game. I think he sees the percentages really well. Oh, Dylan. Why do you have so much side on it? Maybe he couldn't see it. Yeah, it looked like he could see plenty. But Bundles aside on that. Yeah, there would have been no reason for it, so I can only assume it was for not being able to see it enough. See the red dot spinning on the cue ball there? It's a little bit fortunate that the red and yellow have come up and finished the way they have. Lovely cue in that. But Ronan good enough to come up with that pot, and now he can play a red off the yellow and open up the balls at the bottom. He's just unlucky. Was That was his plan, but he wanted to land a bit better on them. But he's kind of forced to go from here. It's just nicer if you can get straight on one and just control the pace. Whereas when you're bridging off the cushion like this, you can kind of, that's all decided for you. It's just gonna have to top spin this. Mm, see. Caught the red, not the yellow. I think he had to go right cushion first there. And then so then that would have split them out better, but maybe he just didn't feel like he had the right angle to do that. Now he is in trouble. Does it go to the bottom left? He Five. had a quick look. I mean, it's tight. It's hard to land there anyway, but... If there's plenty of angle on this, he can probably... Oh, he's just thinking about the cue ball there. Well, first really big mistake in the match here for Ronan.
sometimes it's better to miss then. At least he's got three balls on the table should should Dylan fail to get these. And not, not a dead cert with position in a couple of the balls. No, that's, this is the only tricky ball, really, to be fair. But It is always trickier than it looks on the screen. Should be fine. He's landed as good as you can on it, so drop it in. He's got the yellow to the bottom right corner next. Yeah, that's a good shot. Even then, right behind it, still not going to take any liberties with it. Give it every chance. Just pot this ball. It's one of those you can sort of play it thick because you're thinking about the cue will not drifting away, but yeah, it's just sometimes it can catch you out. So he's just got to get on that. The, the yellow nearest the eight ball doesn't. Could, it could be a mini banana skin if you're being looking for if you're looking for problems, but he should be fine. If you can just hold this one. Yeah, that is um, a little bit betwixt and between. I think he can just drift out two cushions here towards the middle of the table now. That will be fine. He's just trying to hold it off one. It's a dangerous way of playing it. That's a good shot. He yeah, played it perfectly, though. Possibly our first big pivotal frame in the match. Both players missing pots. But Dylan Leary is the one that got the second opportunity. Can't remember. We did see some in the in the group stages, though. Yeah, I mean, race to seven and 40 minutes, you think sometimes that won't won't finish. Normally we get 50 minutes, I think, on the Pro Series, so there's a slightly shorter clock. Not a good break. Perfect break from Ronan. Absolutely. He's, he's never going to have the power of some other players. For, for Ronan, it's important to get the quality of contact, and that was perfect. So you'd like to bottle that one up. He's got a... Uh, I think sometimes with Ronan, he, tries to, he does try and overhit them, and they're he doesn't get that quality of contact and it does him more harm than good when he just focuses on the quality, especially in perfect conditions where you don't always need extreme power. Yeah. I mean, these are... That's a good shot. Yeah, purposely opening up the eight ball for Got later on in the visit. Out of that. This is about as hard as you could have hit it and still, still made the red stay in the middle pocket any harder. It probably jumps out, so... He's um, yeah, played that perfectly. Just changed his mind there. I think I think he'll leave that red on the right is just the only slightly tricky one to get on. That's why he's tried to drift over there now. Just about okay, it's a good shot. Even the even the red to the bottom left still needs landing on to be fair. This one closest to the bottom left corner, so work's not fully done yet. Oh, He pots it thick. He felt like he couldn't hold. He's on this red to the bottom left as well, I think, through the oh, gap of the yellows. The gap. Oh, that, was, that was wide. Yeah, he's missed that quite thick and drops in using all the pocket. Compromises the position. There's always a gap, as they like to say. Yeah, it's that's a now. good touch of fortune there for Ronan. All the pocket there as well, trying to make sure he got down the table. Feels a bit edgy out there, Simon. Could be. He may have just been trying to pinch the pocket on that one. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But he was definitely trying to pinch it to help help the cue ball down the table if he put it on a thinner side. But you can see he definitely pinched too much because of how much further the cue ball drifted on than he initially wanted. So. Another ball for Dylan, it's four, four wet in a row, is it? It certainly like is. He's definitely been working on his break. What do you think? Reds, reds seem initially like... Maybe can play this one to the bottom right, then a three ball plant. He's only got one tricky red then. That's what he was looking at. The yellows are definitely harder because of those two in the bottom, bottom left corner of the table. I don't really connect up to each other very well or anything else so 
yeah, obvious easier starter on yellows, but looks like reds are the colour set he does want. Just drift back out to the middle of the table here off two cushions. I think you're trying to miss the eight ball. Oh, and it's because of that, he's missed the red. It's just, just, yeah, just try to pinch that on the thick side. And now, because he's left that over the hole, everything's a lot easier for Ronan. You should see, he didn't want to, didn't want to catch the eight ball. A lot of right hand side on that. Yeah, pushing the cue ball into the red as well. And no such problems for Ronan. Open table, and the reds are wide open for him. It's just one of those where the clock's got Dylan there. It's, if you give him an extra 15 seconds, he won't miss that ball. But he'd cause an extension. He was kind of the clocks were be, clock was beeping down. So and you can tell he hadn't fully decided, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was still. He was torn between the couple of shots you were you're talking about, and in the end, he missed that one. But it wasn't a bad choice of shot at all. If he makes the pot, he's in perfect position to make the clearance himself. I didn't realise this ball went to the top right either. I mean, that you can't quite tell from the camera angle, so. It's one oh. of those where it's over the hole, so you just pot, pot this thin and use the cushion. Thick screw back, either or, same thing. Yeah, minute plate the pocket. Eight ball goes to the top left as we look, so we'll just be drifting this on and off the cushion. Straight on the black. And we're about so three minutes, we're probably one frame away from uh, the 15 second shot clock. It's quite a big frame. You, you want to be going into that four each rather than five three down from Dillard's point of view, if you like. So it makes their their visit tougher. Eight ball, not this time. It's dry, and it is dry. He hit them really well again. Dylan needs to get this frame for me. Just given how the match has gone, yeah, he did it, hit them very clean. Yeah, he's got a lot of jaws being worked out there. Unfortunately, nothing drops, and that can happen. He has left a little cluster in the top right. That's the only thing Dylan's got to deal with here. Gonna try and maybe use that one on the top cushion to break it out. Oh, missed his first ball again. Oh dear. That's two frames on the trot. He's missed first ball. That is not ideal. You can see his plan. He's gonna pop this one quite firm with a bit of top right hand side and just try and hit the yellow full ball on and off the cushion, get it out into the table. Slightly different scenario for Ronan because Dylan would have already been yellows, which are the better colour set. Ronan needs to pot this ball effectively, so he might not hit it as hard as Dylan would have. In fact, he's just going to play on the double, so... I don't know if this was Dylan's plan initially, but I say Ronan might have been governed by the fact that had he missed that yellow, playing it at pace, he gives the frame away effectively, so... He's backing himself for this. And it's squared up on him. That does happen. He's been lucky there, really, to leave the red tied up. Yeah, he's left the red tied up, but he's left the, the yellows aren't in a strange way, even though the red's in between two yellows. Missed up by quite a way, so he could have easily developed this red here, but it's gone gone out and back in again, so there is a potential for a loss of turn at some point. Not now. I think he could probably just go into it here, to be honest. I think he has to. I don't think he can leave it like that. We are going to hit the 15 seconds in this frame now. The thing is, if you go two cushions and hit it from behind, the white can go in, and you can't really get there direct, I don't think, so... He's made sure he stayed wide, but that's kind of made him miss the cannon. If he sort of gets right in behind them, the white will go in the right, the bottom right corner, so... He's still got the loss of turn as an option, Again. but there's no yellows tied up now. Yeah. So, he can't really do that, and, and there's no, no obvious way to get back into it. Just looking at the plant... So we'll try and leave the other red onto the left corner next, the way he plays this. Oh, he's missed. A few misses now creeping in Maybe for Dylan, it coming. really is. Well, this is a big frame for Dylan, definitely. That wasn't an easy shot. And he sort of had in the back of his mind, he still had a problem to deal with. I don't think this is in. <laughs> Ronan thought it was. He was already walking, <laughs> he'd stopped watching it. 
Shock on his face when he didn't hear the ball drop. Still shock on his face. He's still favourite here. It's very tough to deal with. This table on reds. Yeah, it just causes another slight problem for reds as well. well didn't try to pull it there, I think. That yellow. But uh, luckily he's missed it. This could have easily gone in off. It's one of those where the, the white could have easily slipped in behind it there. Play Double. skill shot now, More I combination. Think. Yeah. He's missed the combination by a long way. Wow. A long, long way. That was very strange. And they are in 15 seconds now, so we're going to start seeing some carnage. I think he's, Ryan's going to play this yellow cushion. Yellow, and then just to free that yellow. I oh, know he's playing off the edge of it to play the plant. So it's like a, a carom shot, they call this, in some rules. Lost the cue ball. Yeah, and it, it's not many places where he wouldn't see. have been on anything. I think he's he okay. may be there. Just about rolled out enough to see the yellow to the right middle, I think. Yeah, just okay. Eight ball's still not nice. So it's still not a guaranteed out by any stretch. This is not easy. And 15 seconds a shot does not make it any easier. It's hard to get the white out here now. Can he just come two rails? He's going to go very close to both reds here. I think he can get two cushions and out towards the middle of the table. And I think the eight ball goes to the middle pocket it's nearest to. I see one, two, very close to both balls. That little flick on the red. I think he's okay. It's just again. Oh, it is just okay. Wow. And they can just play He's probably right. have lot rakes of right hand side to go two cushions and track track towards the eight ball. That's what we call playing down the line of the shot. So you see that anywhere the cue ball stops, it's going to be okay for a shot. I think he's landed just about as good as he could have. Just dropped this in dead weight. Not as easy as they look again. Good shot. Without without the six reds anyway. Oh, the oh, eight, ball. eight ball would help. Oh, goodness oh, me. Wow. And now oh, the cue ball's close. Wow, that's so unlucky. Oh, and look at the layout. What a break. That, uh, <laughs> they've exploded just unbelievably. That eight balls flew out. Boom. I mean, he's so unlucky to go in off there. <laughs> it's been ricocheted off about four balls. And he's like left a, a lovely chance for Ronan here. You can see that there. It was almost like another ball flew into the pack in like a secondary explosion. Shot that cue ball up the table. Lovely cannon from Ronan there. Very controlled. Changed his mind here. I think it's probably the right way to go. He's probably thinking to land on the left cushion next and then play the bottom left and then leave the white in the cushion and play the red to the left middle after which would naturally drift you up the table for your last red. I think you'll try and punch this across. Oh, he's changed his mind. <laughs> changed his mind a few times there. So now this is tricky, to be fair. It's got to get lower the, the bottom half of the table. Here, two cushions, punch it down. That's excellent. That's a very good shot. Yep. Take that all day long. Little bump on the yellow, I think, just to open up a path for the eight ball next. That's it. Get that out of the way. Dylan has got it all to do from here. See Ronan wasting the clock as well. He doesn't miss a beat. <laughs> Using his full 15 seconds for a black that's over the hole. Another break he's hit really well. And another break he's not going to have any friends with. But in terms of quality and, and power that he's generating, he should be fairly pleased with the way he's hit the break in the match. It's weird. There wasn't really an explosion. He's not hit them that hard, but 
everything's gone up the top half of the table and it's left it very awkward for Dylan to be fair I mean yeah, this is not what you want <laughs> well yeah that's it you those two either three three frames in front with five minutes and change on the clock and you, you miss you know you don't make a ball off the break you're happy with it being this messy you're very happy no way out for yellows really is there I mean he can, he's going to have to leave the one at the bottom as a double to the right middle I think if he even gets that far I think he's got to play a little cannon here or could he play the double and get onto it to the top right or get into it triple Oof. that was not bad you know because he's opened up the ball to the top left if the trouble if the trouble goes he's half a chance but it didn't Ryan will use his full 30 seconds here Well, what a shot that is. Yeah, I had to bend that as well. I had to manufacture that. So the right hand spin on the cue ball you can see there really helps the helps the double. I'm just gonna play safe here. Safety. No thoughts of anything else. Block the yellows to the corner, you see? That's, that's brilliant. That's Oof. just a brilliant shot. Yeah. Clock management, frame management, match management, it's fantastic. Surely Dylan can't see one of these, can he? Through the gap. I'm not sure so he can do anything with it, even if he can. On, on making sure he blocked the yellows. Block plant. Oh, what a shot! Wow. Now he's got an angle for the double here to cannon into the the eight ball, but lots of screw on right hand side. He can he can double this yellow across and get into the eight ball. I mean, it's still unlikely anything good's going to happen. But oh, he's, oh, he's over hit that for me. He had to he had to play it softer to let the screw take. Playing at that pace. Maybe he was just trying to go into the yellows up the top, to be fair, but... <laughs> Ronan's just thinking, how can I tie this up more? It's quite funny watching <laughs> watching his brain work there. How can I mess these up more? Yeah, I was on commentary for the end of the, the last match, and Brian Halcrow was kind of not taking on a finish, but it, the situation here is very different. There's a three-frame difference, but also... There's no finish on for reds here either. There's Dylan no finish have on. the loss of turn there. Bottom left for me. Pop, pop the yellow onto the red to at least open that yellow up. He's missed a trick there. While he's concentrating on the top end of the table, it's just he's still got that problem to deal with later. Should he get a chance? He's just going all out attack. I suppose he kind of, kind of has to now with two minutes left I mean that's yeah this is this is done really barring a silly mistake or, or the eight ball flying in, in the middle of the frame here it's yeah and it's not just this frame he's three frames behind yeah I mean it's I doubt, doubt you're going to see this frame finish to be honest I think this is it this is it right here the match finishes 6-3 for me there's a chance of a yellow going in up here oh, it's a great effort It's, it's like, like pinball, isn't it, when it gets down to this sort of point? You've got one, it one must, wily character. It must be torture out there, though. You're watching that clock tick down. You think, just give me give me a 1% chance of a clear up here. And, <laughs> and he can't, he just can't get anything. This is just the, the worst possible frame at the wrong time for, for Dylan Leary. And a lot of that's down to some of the shots that Ronan's playing as well. He's playing another safety here. Or is he? Oh, I think he is thinking. Trying a banana, banana the cue ball out. No, he's playing yeah. so wily. God, that's hard to play a shot like that. Yeah. Fair play to him. That's a great yeah. shot as well. Dylan's going whack again. Now he can run clock down if he wants to, Ronan. Pop four balls and you're you're done basically. But he's still not doing that. He's going to play another safety. Yeah. In fact, all his he could actually open up all his reds here if he wanted to. No reason to really. Use his full 15 seconds, tie things up. Yeah. I mean, how many times has Dylan flown into that area <laughs> with pace and they're just not opening up at all? And oh, he's had enough of it. He knows he can't turn this one around. And Dylan Leary comes forward to shake hands with Ronan McCarthy. A fascinating match, it has to be said. Welcome back into the Ultimate Pool Studio. Stephen Jameson and Sean Story joined by our latest winner in the Pro Cup. It's the world champion Ronan McCarthy who gets over the line against Dylan Leary. Ronan, congratulations first of all. Thank it's you. good to see you. Merry Christmas and all that. How did you find the uh, find the game out there? 
Um, Dylan made a couple of mistakes and I think I missed one ball into the corner on a two dry breaks. Apart from that, I played pretty solid, didn't really do much wrong. So. Yeah, it was a good, good performance. I'm happy with that. We obviously saw such a, an amazing purple patch from yourself in, in 2022 in the autumn. But is the key for you now to sort of, while the, you had, that run had to come to an end at some point, is almost just keeping some form of momentum going into 23? Yeah, well, you, you have to understand that that, that, that run was never going to last forever. <laughs> it just it was, uh, came a bit out of the blue. But no, if I can just keep a bit of consistency and just play well and, and at least make it hard for my opponents, you know, just cut the mistakes out and that's all I want to do, just play consistently. He's been around the game for such a long time, Sean, but how nice to see Ronan back in at the top of the game. It feels like the game's better when he's when he's at the top of it, doesn't it? Yeah, he's, he always brings something to an event, he's a character and uh, yeah, his humour, his humour is always well um, well loved when he's about, so uh, it's, it's an incredible run he's been on um, and it's hard to say how, how much concentration you've got to have to win that many matches that he's won over whatever it was, that two or three month patch was just incredible, so um, like I say, it has to come to an end at some point, but, but this format doesn't really allow you to dominate, you know, so um, yeah, it's testament to, to how good he is that he could win that many matches and win you know five five major tournaments in a row, if you like. Uh, yeah, we'd all look at that. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it was one of those matches, wasn't it, Ronan, where it, it didn't quite flow freely, I think, for, for you and Dylan out there at times, but it was just a case of managing that match at, at points, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just, I think Dylan missed a couple of balls, you know, at the, the start of the frames, just uh, when I had pretty good chances. I'm looking at the table and I'm thinking, I'm maybe not getting back here. He missed his first ball, I think, a couple of times and just sort of handed the initiative over to me, so I was glad to see it, but uh, I, I thought I played, you know, apart from that, I played, played pretty solid. Well, you certainly did, and we'll, uh, we'll give you a moment to, uh, to rest up because you're straight back on for the group final. Of course, it should be an absolute belter, Sean.